Good evening everybody and welcome to this new edition of the White Dwarf Retro Read-Through. This week we're going to have a look at uh, issue 180. For some reason I was about to call it episode 180, but that would be a lie. I also do apologise for the screeching animals outside, but it is seagull breeding season, so they are going absolutely wild. Anyway, let's begin. So here I think this magazine must be from the early 90s, and you can tell by how filthy it is, look at that. And uh, apparently we got one of those uh, marvellous Chaos Space Marines free with this issue. So hopefully we'll see it inside. Anyway, let's begin. All right, what we've we got, we've got this marvelous old school Ultramarines uh, squad here with a chaplain. I always remember this old uh, piece of scenery that they used to wheel out every, <laughs> every picture. It's not in the bottom one, but I'm sure we'll see it again soon. It looks like it's made from a bit of old mesh and some pipes. Marvellous. And here we have those uh, Chaos Space Marines that we got a free one of. I wonder if anyone's still got that free Marine. I'll be interested anyway. Contents there. We have Rob. Who is Rob Z? I don't know who Rob Z is. If anyone can tell me, please let me know. Here he is. Uh, gift vouchers. Don't think I've ever had any of those news we have chaos dwarfs coming out anyway we'll skip through here ah assistant games developers required did anyone ever apply for that job there are few formal qualifications for this position although an unquenchable enthusiasm for games workshop is an absolute necessity nowadays you would have hundreds of people applying to this oh in addition you will receive a wage of £6,000 a year. £6,000 a year. That is absolutely shocking. That's like two months work. That's terrible. With which you are free to spend in whatever depraved fashion takes your fancy. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, next up, Talisman, City of Adventure. I never owned that. I did, however, own Talisman, and it was amazing. We had the Titan Legions around this time. We don't see anything. Hopefully, there'll be a little more later in the issue. The Elder Jet Bike and the Shrieker Jet Bike. Is it still called the Shrieker Jet Bike? Because I don't actually know. I know the Jet Bike's still called the Jet Bike, but is it a Shrieker? Shrieker jet bikes right at the forefront. Blah blah, they have a Shrieker cannon, okay. Don't know if that still is. Oh yes, painting your free miniature. Here we are, look, stage two. We'll ignore stage one, because who needs that, hey? Stage three and stage four. It looks like there's one hell of a jump here between the two stages of stage three and stage four. Although it looks like they may have just black lined everything and painted the metals in. You could read all this. If my video quality is high enough, you may be able to zoom in and have a look at this yourself. Ah, oh, here's stage one, assembling your model. I used to love this piece of artwork here. Whatever these huge things were in the background, they were amazing. Ah. The Katachan Jungle Fighters. Now this takes me back. I think I had a metal version of this set years ago and I remember painting this man and trying to paint the shoulder muscles on his uh, body there and it came out absolutely terrible. Some nice fluff here for Katachan. If I remember correctly, the fluff involves them growing up on a death world and having to learn to shoot before they can walk. Because apparently the plants grow so quickly, they eat you. Anyway, chaplains being released here. We have Ultramarines and Imperial Fists. 
Looks like they were starting to make a bit of a comeback because everything's not Blood Angels. The best land speeder, unless you count the original metal one, the uh, flying sofa. This one I still think is probably the best one of all the land speeders. If you have one of these that you don't want, please send it to me and I'd love it. But I don't think many people have these anymore. As well as this old style Razorback with the uh, plasma guns on the side of the turret. You don't see many of these anymore. But who in their right mind would paint the front ram thing red? Why? Why? Anyway, some more Katachan rules here. Uh, adverts for the Games Workshop shop. We always like looking at these people, seeing if there's anyone I know, and then realise that they would probably be half that age at that point. Some Chaos Sorcerers, I like this man's face here, that looks really well painted. And the old Chaos Familiars, some of the best models ever released, especially the book with the legs. Jake Thornton, very prolific at this stage of the game, is doing an article called Charge. I'm going to imagine that this is uh, teaching you how to charge with different units in Warhammer. Though never playing Warhammer myself, I couldn't actually tell you. Titan Legion's Apocalypse Titanicus. The Titan Legion's Roadshow. Now that sounds amazing. Did anyone ever go to that? If so, what was it like? Ah, Imperial Knights of the Old Persuasion. We have some Paladins, looking kind of similar to what we have now. Crusaders, looking nothing like what we have. I guess it looks a little bit like the uh, Porphyrian, whatever it's called, and the Errants, we have those. Is the Porphyrian the new Crusader? If anyone could let me know, please say so. Gav Thorpe. Looking very young in this picture. I do like his uh, moustache he appears to be having a go out there. Some rules here for Titan Legions. And some of the best Titan models ever released, the old Reva Titans. And uh, 10 internet points for anyone who can tell us what Legio these are from. They appear to have the metal skull device. Here are the best tanks ever for the epic game. The Stormhammer, the old double turret there. The Imperial Mole, which has finally made a, uh, a return. The Lehman Russ. And Squats. Will we ever see any more of those? I doubt it very much. But look at these, the Leviathan. One day I expect to see one of those. It's not that much bigger than the Baneblade chassis here. There's Mortarion in his old incarnation. And here's a double prey, double page, a double page spread of the Titan Legions board game set thing. And you were always gutted because you always wanted two of these rather than two of these. However, you did get a hundred knights and a lot of little uh, orc wagons there. Oh, sorry, you did get two. <laughs> you got a cardboard cutout. Now that is that is gutting. I think you would rather the cardboard version of one of those, but they're not going to do that, are they? Because this is the prize mini. But I do like this cardboard scenery from back then. Ah, some orc vehicles, some lung bursters, bone breakers, spleen rippers, and gob smashers. And here's the old Brass Scorpion, if anyone ever wondered what one looked like. And Mortarion, without his armour. Just looks like a winged angel in a purple dressing gown. Or house coat, as uh, some crazy people refer to them. Some Warhound Titans here. And the Orc Storm Boys. Now, if you notice, these use the SS device. I don't think they'd be able to get away with that nowadays. But they were good. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. 
Games Day 1994 with um, Peter Jackson apparently. Is that Tony Cottrell there? Who are these people? Everyone's looking very young and un unrecognisable. Do they still do the banner competition? This is something I want to know. And look at that green painted board there. That does look wonderful. The old and uh, nineties Blood Bowl set there. And some more. So they're showing off Epic and Titan Legions. A man who's dressed uh, to go to games day at five and then he has a rock concert at nine in his massive leather jacket there. This young man is very pleased to be there. Oh, he's very upset he's having his photo taken. Is that a young Gav Thorpe again? He really does. Look at that 90s tracksuit. That is incredible. Marvellous. Ah, halflings for Blood Bowl. They do look, I think they've just been re-released. Apparently their device was a knife and fork. Some Skaven mutants, do they still exist? I don't know. And Jeremy V. Tock. Is he still doing the rounds? I can't say I've seen his name. Did he do something to do with Dark Angels at some point? Anyway, this is some uh, Blood Bowl stuff here. Looks to be some tactics, along with an advert for the Chaos All-Stars, featuring a Chaos Warrior. And then we have a battle report, a bitter harvest. It's uh, Howling Griffins against Orcs. Howling Griffins, the, the worst army to paint in the world, and I apparently have to paint one uh, very soon. We'll see how we get on. So here we are, Adrian Wood and his Orcs. And then Fred Reed and his Howling Griffins. He has that land speeder there in Howling Griffins library. And I want that, please. Interspersed with an advert from uh, second edition 40K. This must be late 94 or early 95. And just run through the turns. Space Marines ahead at turn one. Orcs pull ahead at turn two. Space Marines just clinch it back at turn three. And at turn four, the Ultramarines absolutely whip them and go to 24 points to 13. Well done, Howling Griffins. However, this piece of artwork is one of the best pieces of artwork you'll ever see. And here we are to Christmas mail order, I believe. These two people are always in this uh, old magazine. Chaz and Ash. Are they still around? I'd love to know. Let's have a look at some prices here. Always interests people. The 40k box game, $34.99. Codexes are all $9.99. Titan Legions box game, $34.99. And these old army sets, 2,000 point Space Marine Army, 85 quid. Bargain, you'd never get one for that now, would you? Into the catalogue section. This is always good fun. As a kid, I used to photocopy these and make little stand-up 2D models. But I was a sad child. A giblet grinder, whatever that is. There he is, Mortarion. Chaos Dwarfs in their very repetitive Unipose models there. Though they do have a lot of character. I love those hats. The Reva Titans. Did anyone ever build one with the banner pole? Some knights and a warhound. Here's the Bane Blade. Here's the Shadow Sword, looking wonderful, and the Storm Hammer, the best Bane Blade chassis tank. And over here we have the, uh, I hope, soon to be re-released Leviathan. When will it happen? I don't think it's a matter of if, but when. 
Here again we have the old land speeder which I want terribly badly. If anyone has one, please uh, let me know. The Space Marine Chaplains from earlier. And some uh, original Space Marine models here. This one always intrigued me. The Mark III Iron Armour, he doesn't appear to have any eyes, or is it just the uh, picture quality? Someone please let me know. The Adeptus Arbites, as I used to call them, although someone told me that you pronounce this Arbites or something, and I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I agree with that. Arbites, is it? The Catachans, a uh, Orc War Bikes. And we end up with the Blood Bowl teams. And a small advert for Chaos Dwarfs. Anyway, on the back, we have Prince Imric. I think he's the chap on the uh, dragon. Leads an attack by an army of High Elves against the malevolent Chaos Dwarfs. Marvellous. Anyway, thanks you all for coming, and we'll see you for the next retro read-through. Goodbye.